Okay, it is time for some great food, and it doesn't get much better than pizza. No, it doesn't. <laughs> October is National Pizza Month, and there is no one better to show off how to assemble the perfect mm, pizza than Chef Matteo Vanini of Selena Pizzeria. Good yes. to have you. Thank you. Thank you for having me. You guys are just growing and expanding. You have three locations now, right? Yeah, we have three locations, one in Sheerington at the Village, one in Union Market, and one in Mont Vernon Trail. Oh, how exciting. Wow, I know so many people just rave about your <laughs> yes. pizza. I Thank mean, you. we're so excited to have you here. All right, how do we... Right. How do we so make it? Make your deal we are, of the month. We are, we're going to run this pizza starting tonight. Uh, we haven't found the name yet. So maybe, oh, really? maybe our friends from home, they're the going to help day us pizza? out to find the name. Yep. There you <laughs> go. So the great day pizza. We can do that. So we're going to open the, our dough. <laughs> we have a few bad ingredients, uh, but it takes a long time to make it. It's a very long process. So How do you make that look so easy? I know that is perfectly not easy. round that is. So we're going to put some uh, fresh shredded mozzarella. Our chef, you come oh, over here. I'll so uh, no sauce first. No, That's, this is, is a, wh is a white pizza a white because pizza. the way the, the meat is cooked, it's, okay. it's braised, it's very deep flavor. Uh, it won't work very well with the with, with the red sauce. sauce. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now we have a short ribs. Short ribs. They have been Ooh. marinated for 24 hours with red wine and vegetables, and then it's been braised oh. for four hours. Um, in their own juice wow. and then shred oh, it. Goodness. You were saying this pizza takes a long time to make because of the meat. Because right? of the meat and also the, our dough. So we do a long process fermentation. We do a biga that takes 24 hours to get ready. And then we do four days fermentation before you use it. So this dough wow. has been five days old. So it's got a little oh sour gosh. flavor, uh, very easy to digest. That's why we do the biga. That's why uh, we, a lot of people love our pizza. Yes, and that's why I, I can eat pizza every single day. You can. <laughs> you don't get sick of it. No, I could too. Never, never, <laughs> I could never. Too, especially your pizza. So those caramelized onions. Yeah, we put mm. some caramelized onion. That it goes very well with the meat. Okay. And then we're gonna put some fresh mozzarella. So, chef, can you have too many toppings on a pizza? <laughs> uh, yes and no. <laughs> <laughs> it, it depends. If the toppings go well together, you can. Uh, I personally like very simple ingredients. Yeah. No more than two mm, and three. As I much. said, you can have pizza every single day. Otherwise, if you Eat. too many things, it's going to be a little heavy. Mm -hmm. yeah. Never now we have all the toppings are here. There we go. Looks now gorgeous. we can just put in the oven. Okay. okay. And with the magic of television. <laughs> oh. When did you guys careful. open okay, your yeah. first Ready? Your first hey. restaurant? Ooh. We opened four years ago. Okay. There we go. Yeah. This wow. is the pizza how it looks like. Gorgeous. Oh my gosh, it smells amazing. Now what we're going to do, we're going to finish with some black pepper pecorino mm. we're gonna shred it right on the top mm. did you make this recipe up for the pizza with uh, no name? we just <laughs> tried to put together ingredients oh, this is actually a very uh, old dish from naples oh. called sugo alla genovese they do usually pasta so we create oh. the same thing and on the pizza on and we do pizza. we do a lot of our restaurants we have a cacio pepe pizza we have a matriciana pizza so we wow. like to create uh, Italian dishes, uh, reproduce the Italian mm -hmm. dishes on the pizza. Mm. As we're running out of time, what no, else what do we have up here? Oh, the Brussels so that's sprouts. some of the other appetizers that we have. We have some uh, Brussels, uh, fried Brussels sprouts that we serve with a balsamic glaze, arancini, classic mm. from Sicily, mm -hmm. with some tomato sauce and uh, Parmesan cheese on top. Here we have mozzarella and carrozza, which is a mozzarella in the middle, bread, white bread, and then breaded, fried. Ooh. And then we're going to serve it with a uh, homemade ketchup. Oh. from fresh tomato, Good. fried artichokes uh, oh, with wow. some uh, herb mayo. That is. Her mayo <laughs> yeah. We have fried artichokes since day one, and it's going to be on the menu forever. Take We're it sold. No, I'm just kidding. We're sold. Yeah. Thank you. Um, I know you got some great specials coming up mm -hmm. this month, but always check out Selena Pizzeria. Like we said, there's three locations now, Village at Sherlington, Union Market, and Mount Vernon Triangle. And more to come. And more to, more come. to come. And there's a waffle shop at Mount Vernon Triangle. <laughs> yeah. Chef, thank you so yes, thank very you. much.